Well, good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, first of all, I want to let you all know, full disclosure, that uh, last year I bought my 80-year-old mother an iPad, and uh, she found the URL and was 19,000 of the 20,000 votes, so <laughs> thanks for the honor. Um, this, um, this year, uh, the, the theme for this conference is the future has never been so open, and I think it's very apparent by the fact that our registration for this event is up about 15% over last year. And um, if you take a look at all the monkey wrenches that were thrown into the federal workforce gearbox over the last month or so, I think it's, I'm very enthused that you guys are all here because I know we're all very busy. It's been a very challenging year for everyone. Can we have the next slide? First of all, first order of business, what I'd like to do is call out our gold, uh, and our platinum sponsors, Kerasoft, Hortonworks, IBM, and DLT Solutions. These folks are great partners of ours, and without their support, we can't possibly pull something like this off. So thanks to those folks. And also, next slide, our, uh, our gold and silver partners, whose names you'll see up on the screen, also are, are great partners, not only in, in government, but also in open source and in the community. And if you just do us all a favor, we'll have lots of networking time here today. Just go back and visit some of these folks and ask them you know, what they're up to. Um, Flow. Flow for today is going to be uh, a lot of fun, and it's going to encourage a lot of dialogue and a lot of information exchange. Next slide. We're going to start off with a couple fast-paced, and I mean fast-paced uh, keynotes from some luminaries. We're going to get, move into uh, some breakout sessions, too, with six different topics. There are going to be smaller venues. You'll be able to uh, have a lot of interchange there. We're also uh, going to have labs, one this morning, one this afternoon for uh, those more technically oriented. Uh, the first one being on OpenStack and OpenShift, our IaaS and PaaS offerings. And in the afternoon, we'll get into uh, our rules management system, uh, uh, BRMS. And then, of course, we'll have some panel discussions, as you can see. Uh, we'll have the, the stage set up for that. And um, I think Gunnar Hellickson is actually hosting a, a little fireside chat as well. So we're very excited about that. We've got. Uh, Great speakers from all parts of government, the civilian agencies, the intelligence community, the DOD, and we also have representatives from industry as well. Many manufacturers, uh, software and har hardware, and uh, very well represented by a lot of our other key partners in the systems integration community. So it's going to be a great event today. I'd like to bring up one last thing as we, as we, uh, as we move into the, into the venue. You know, uh, I've been with Red Hat now for about nine years. And it was really uh, an interesting journey coming from a proprietary environment in terms of a sales career into an open source world. And really, really cool times in terms of all the disruption that was happening in the marketplace as we brought Red Hat Enterprise Linux into the community, into data centers to commodi help commoditize the, uh, the hardware environment. And that was a very disruptive type of uh, a business plan. Come in, replace older IP. We've been doing the same uh, with, a, uh, with a lot of Verve over the last couple of years in our middleware suite as well. And you'll see virtualization actually start to get disrupted as well in the coming years. But what's really important and big change, as you all know from watching what's going on, is that open source has really become mainstream. And what I mean from that, instead of being a disruptor of technologies that have been around for a while and are coming in at lower cost and higher value, it's now on the leading edge of everything that's going on. Everything that's going on in the cloud is coming out of open source. So it's the lead in terms of where innovation is coming from. And we'll have a lot of discussions today around OpenStack. It seems to be the brand, if you will, in terms of projects that's got a lot of juice in terms of what's going on for share first and gov first initiatives in the government. We maintain our fidelity at Red Hat to the open source uh, uh, world by being the number one uh, uh, contributor, the number one contributor to the OpenStack community in terms of code, to the upstream. So that's really important. And another thing, um, for those of you that haven't seen it yet, along with industry, Intel, HP, Rackspace, and also the NSA, we co-authored this, uh, this uh, definitive work called the OpenStack Security Guide. And uh, in here, if you really want to get into the weeds a little bit, in chapter 43, you can see how we're implementing SVIRT which is born out of the SE Linux security uh, policies that we inherited into Red Hat Enterprise virtualization based on KVM, and now it's part of the Red Hat OpenStack distribution. So 
the guide for best practices on how to stand up OpenStack for the enterprise. You know, so that is the huge differentiation, we think, between what we've always done well, which is nurture the community and then provide trust, security, stability, and uh, security in the enterprise version of our products. And we're doing the same thing today in all of, the, all of the products that are on the leading edge. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to turn over the stage uh, uh, right now to our Executive Vice President of Worldwide Sales and uh, Services to give you a little bit more on his thoughts of what's going on in terms of uh, open source in, in, the, uh, in the mainstream. So with that, I'd like to kick things kicked off and invite uh, my boss and my friend, Arun Oberoi, to the stage. <laughs>